Welcome back to Go Gaddis Real Estate Radio right here on AM 920 The Answer. I'm Cleve Gaddis, and I'm joined in the studio by my girlfriend, my partner in life, who we've been together for three years now, Tammy Slay. Tammy is a real estate broker of a really cool boutique brokerage in North Dallas, Frisco, Texas. It's called Hip Realty Group. I wish I was as hip as Hip Realty Group is. <laughs> and um, she, you also run a team. So you have a, te- a group of agents who work with you, just like the agents who work with me, yes. uh, helping people buy, sell, and invest in real estate all over DFW. Yeah. More in the north part of the city, but all over DFW. All over, yeah. So I'm glad you're here. Well, I appreciate you inviting here. me. And for those who did not hear the last couple segments, how many grandkids did you and I collectively have in the last seven, or in a 17-day period, not the last 17 right. days? Yeah. So we have two new grandchildren. Woohoo! <laughs> added to the collective. Emer- Emery. Yes. And Remington. Yes. Who goes by Remy. Remy. Two em- little girls. Yeah. Cute. They're Isn't both it adorable. Isn't yeah. it fun? Don't you just wish you could just stop doing everything else in life and just be with them all the time? Oh, totally. Although it is fun every once in a while when all the difficult stuff happens just to give them back to their parents. Oh, yes. Then, there is perks <laughs> to be in there. <laughs> then go, then go, go somewhere else. And we also slipped in a quick visit uh-huh. with uh, yours, uh, yours or our soon-to-be five-year-old grandson. Yes, Rhett. Rhett. Yes. Who lives in Rapid City, South Dakota. Yes. And we toured all over that place. We it didn't go to the amazing. Badlands, but we went to Custer State Park. We saw the uh, Summer White House where yeah. Calvin Coolidge stayed, where he announced he was not going to re- run for president again. And we went to uh, Mount Rushmore again. Yes. Wasn't it fun? That was so fun. It's just so fun. It's so fun. If you want to connect with us, it's simple. Go to gogaddisradio.com. Remember, our intention here is very simple. Buying and selling and investing in real estate is, um, there's a lot of room for mistakes. There's a lot of room for errors. You agree with that, Tammy? Absolutely. Meaning like it's not just a simple, hey, just do what everybody else does and you'll be fine. Because in many cases, it's the single biggest investment you'll make. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's very hard to recover from bad investments. Mm -hmm. But if you want to connect with us, go to gogaddisradio.com. You can ask questions we answer on air, off air. You can challenge things we say. Ask us to do some additional research in your neighborhood. We're not having a neighborhood spotlight in today's show, but we normally do. And we'd love to feature your neighborhood. And you can subscribe to our podcast. This segment of the show is brought to you by the law firm of O'Kelly & Sorahan. Kelly and Sorahan has 30 offices all throughout Metro Atlanta. They specialize in residential real estate closings, home purchases, refinance closings, corporate relocation, and real estate contract review and title insurance matters. They can be reached by calling 770-497-1880. Tammy, you have... I believe a client, and we're going to have to come up with a name for this client. We used Mert in the last all segment right, of the show, right. so we'll have to come up with another name because I don't want to, I don't want to uh, ever violate, you know, some privacy uh, of uh, you know what people are dealing with because mm-hmm. it's their personal business. But I think these these stories that we're sharing are so important because there's so many people out there that are in the exact same situation. Yeah. You have a, a husband and wife, yes, a fairly new baby, as I understand. Yes. Um, they lived in an area not too far from where you used to live uh, mm-hmm. in the in the Frisco area, and they want to sell their current home and buy a new home. Correct. And kind of set up the scenario for everybody so they'll know the situation. And they felt stuck, my guess is, before they oh, called Oh, yeah, you. yeah. You know, they, if they didn't understand, um, they are... Wait, what are their names? So, Dora. Dora. And Dor- like Dora the Explorer? Yeah, like okay. Dora the Explorer. Okay. okay. And then Frank. Frank. Dora and Frank. Dora and Frank. Love it. We love Dora and Frank. And it's so cool. Dora and Frank just want their life to be different than yes. it is today. Yes. It's that simple. That's it. That's totally right. it. Baby's coming. No, got a baby. Baby, baby's, baby's here. here. Sorry. Yeah. You, 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 you're the one who got a grandbaby coming. <laughs> baby's here. Needs for housing are just different. So right. scenario. Um, so young couple. First time home sellers, okay. I'll point out too. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so they, and I, I think didn't he have the home before they got married or she had the correct. home before they got married? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So um they're selling they want to sell their home. It's not yet for sale. Okay. They want to sell their home. They're first time home sellers, okay. so they're foreign to what it looks like to sell. Yeah. Um he had bought the home previously. Um, so she has not gone through the process of buying a home either. Dora hasn't. And so both of them don't know what it's like to sell, not familiar with that process. 
and as well, only one of them has ever bought a home before, but neither one of them have gone through a resale and a purchase with a baby. And what are all the nuances that they are not aware of? This isn't even a question really they have. This is a question I know subconsciously they have. But they don't even know they have. They don't even know they have. And I can't imagine that um, two people married baby less than a year, a couple years old. Yeah, uh, the baby you know, less yes. than a year. Yes, less than a year. I can't imagine they would have any clue of what it would be like to sell a home with a baby who needs a very specific nap schedule. Absolutely. So, let, where are they looking to move? Are they looking to move nearby? Oh yeah, they're like I mean, it's another city in the DFW area, but they're you know it's not a job move. It's just they they want to live in a less hustle and bustle of the inner city okay. and have a, little, a bigger yard. A little bigger yard. Bigger yard. Any, any more space in the uh, house? More not? space in the house, yeah. And they would love a pool in the backyard. Oh. Going to the pool is something they both really enjoy, but going with a baby, you know, is it's an event to load up all the pool equipment for a baby and then to do it around the baby's nap schedule. When you it's a just, lot to load the baby in the car to go to grandma's house. Like, right. <laughs> it's just a lot of stuff. And so, okay, they, they're they in one situation. They want to be in a different situation. Correct. Now, your people, uh, Dora and Frank, they are willing to go purchase their new home before they sell their existing home. Now, in the fourth segment, we're going to talk about another example from here in Metro Atlanta where she's not comfortable doing that. But so tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. And how are they going to do that? How will okay. they be able to buy their new home without having the cash from their existing home? So they met with, and now these are complete strangers to me, right? Yeah. They found me on Google. Yep. So they don't have a pre-existing condition they, with they me. They found you on Google Correct. and they saw other people saying good things about you. Correct. Okay, good. Correct. That's where we are. I love that. So they had interviewed with other agents um, and wasn't ever aware that there could be a process to where they don't have to show the home with you know and interrupt the baby nap schedule interrupt his work schedule because he also works from home wait a minute i just got this kind of warm like oh my gosh now you're getting it they want to buy their new home so they can get out of the existing home uh right that's smart yes but did they have that idea no, or did you i did okay um and and that because they weren't aware so they weren't aware that that opportunity could even exist. And yeah. um, they had only, all, their, their best estimate is we would own two homes and pay for two homes at the same time. Right. And how long would we carry two mortgages? And do we have the funds to, to do that? Yeah. Um, so I presented an opportunity, um, it really it's a strategy where they could live in their current home, yep. just life as normal. Yep, don't have to make anything special. Nothing. Like you don't have to do all the stuff to prep to get the home no. ready for something. No, yep. and we don't have to show it. Yep. We, you know, you just live in the home like normal. Not we, while they're there. Right, yeah, right, right. So right now they live in the home as normal. Okay. We buy, no, the first focus is buying home number two. Okay, which they've already found someone. They've they, something, something, yes. someone, something they like, right? Yes, okay. yes. Once we close on home number two, then they move out of home number one into home number two. So life is normal. They can take their time. They're not under the gun. And then we come into home number one. We prep it. We stage it. Yeah. And we are able to show it around the clock and not disrupt anybody's life. Yeah. Yeah. And we do that through a bridge loan. Okay, good. What is a bridge loan? How the <laughs> heck does that work? So a bridge loan, and many different lenders will talk about bridge loans differently. So when you hear the term bridge loan, they're not always the same. Sometimes they're a home equity line of credit. So Correct. Give you, okay. All yes. Right. So bridge loan is something different. A bridge loan, a, a true bridge loan is something different. And we work specifically with a um, lender in the DFW area who underwrites these bridge loans. Mm -hmm. But he will do an appraisal on home number one. Okay. Verify they have enough. Equity. understand because they're not going to loan them more than the equity they have. Right. Okay. All so right. verify there is enough equity in home number one and, and the likelihood of it selling. So all that comes from a third party They'll, appraisal. Okay. The appraisal will give me information, not the agent. Not, okay. no, okay. not the agent. Okay. And then once the home is appraised yep. and approves for the bridge loan, yep. and they also 
you know, get approved for the bridge loan, meaning their credit and everything that they're good for it. Then the lender will loan them, and oftentimes, depending on credit score and income, it's it's a hundred percent loan. There's nothing down. They don't have to put five percent down. They don't have to have the cash anywhere because they have enough equity in their home, and it, the lender feels there's enough equity there to secure what will be later their twenty percent down. And yeah. so they now do they have to make payments every month on this no. bridge loan? Okay, how does that work? The, they don't start making payments on house number two until six to nine months later, or until they sell their home, or until they sell their home. It could be home. sooner. Right? It could okay. be sooner. Okay. So it allows a home buyer and a home seller to have that grace period of we're going to find our home, we're going to move into it. Once we close on there, the clock starts ticking. And it's a six month period. That's the initial time. It can be extended, but it's a six month period. They keep making house payments on home number one. They're not making payments on home number two. And then we sell home number one yeah. and a second closing occurs. It's a little bit cheaper for the second closing then, but, but there's doing a bridge loan absolutely costs the consumer a little bit more money, yeah. but it's way less. Than selling yeah, but homes. if they spent two or three or four thousand dollars and were able to be, and you might be able to sell their house for more than oh, that much more, I will be able to, to offset that cost. Yes, yes, because they're not in it. Yeah, and it's yeah. staged, and we don't have to, you know, trip over, you know, a crib or a, you know, toys, and they, and it's so, it's so if so anyone's much looking to buy and then sell in the DFW area, go to hiprealtygroup.com. If you're looking to do that in Metro Atlanta and want somebody to guide you through the process, go to gogaddisradio.com. We're going to take a quick break when we come back. What if you've been in your house for 20 years, 25 years, and you know now it's time to downsize? What on earth do you do to make that happen? Stick with us. We'll be back. <laughs> 